The Mitchell Water Treatment Plant project is unique in an engineering project in that the great story of the plant isn't necessarily any state-of-the-art design or any new technology, but it's really in how the plant impacted the community. The FCUA, the Florida Governmental Utility Authority, uh, back in 2009, acquired the Seven Springs and the Aloha system. The residents there had endured over 17 years of poor water quality issues in that system. Customer complaints about the bad water started back in 1994. Many customers had black water and strong odor and uh, totally unsatisfactory water. There are several issues with the system here, not only the water quality in the black water, but the wells were also being over pumped. The Southwest Florida Water Management District, uh, there was a requirement to, to reduce our pumping from the, from the groundwater wells in August of 2011. And that was a date that the authority could not miss. The project was a very complicated project. It was more than just a single defined water treatment plant. So we ended up dividing it into a program consisting of four projects. One project being interconnections with Pasco County, the second project being the water treatment plant improvements, and then the third and fourth projects being raw water main from the existing water treatment plants, which were going to be converted to raw water wells up to the Mitchell Water Treatment Plant. One of the most difficult components of this project was managing all four of the projects to be able to be completed at the same time so we wouldn't have a treatment plant that was ready to be placed into service but didn't have any raw water piping that came up and connected to it. Having to meet that deadline, that was probably our biggest challenge. And in order to meet that challenge, we required lots and lots of constant communication between the authority, their engineers, the operators. It's like day versus night. It's wonderful, it's drinkable. It looks very clear and it's great. 